Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hour for Tuesday, October 19. Today we celebrate a couple of martyrs, Saint Isaac Job and Jean de Bebreuve. Between the year 1642 and 1649, eight members of the Society of Jesus were killed in North America after fearful torture by members of the Huron and Iroquois tribes. This man had worked so hard to bring the natives of that region to the true faith. Saint Isaac Jog died on October 18, 1647, and Saint John de Bravouve on March 16, 1648. Saint Isaac and Saint John pray, pray for, for us. Let's go through the pages. For the breviary, our hymn is 1112. Our first antiphon is at 692 onwards. The reading will be taken in the Common of Martyrs at 1705. The closing prayer is at 1504. Canticle at 620. For the Christian prayer book, it's hymn 10, 728. For the first antiphon, 1402. For the reading and 691 for the canticle. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that morning, the sun to rule the day, the moon shines full at his call. Sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his work and then pronounced them good. Lord, all thy wonders are displayed wherever turn my eye. If I survey the ground I tread, The man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things? Who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor? He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the, God, the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant. The Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? He is the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the man, man whose deeds are blameless and whose heart is pure will climb the mountain of the Lord. Lord. Praise the eternal King in all your deeds. Blessed be God who lives forever. 
because his kingdom lasts for all ages. For he scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of the netherworld, and he brings up from a great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Praise him, you Israelites, before the Gentiles, for though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his greatness even there. Exalt him before every living being, because he is the Lord of our God, our Father, and God forever. He scourged you for your iniquities, but will again have mercy on you all. He will gather you from all the Gentiles, among whom you have been scattered. When you turn back to him with all your heart to do what is right before him, then he will turn back to you and no longer hide his face from you. So now consider what he has done for you and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness and exalt the King of the ages. In the land of my exile I praise him and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Turn back, you sinners, do the right before him. Perhaps he may look with favor upon you and show you mercy. As for me, I exalt my God, and my heart rejoices in the King of heaven. Let all people speak of his majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise, Praise the Eternal King, King in all your deeds. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp. With a ten string the lute, sing him songs. O oh, sing him a song that is new. Play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the oceans, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded, it sprang into being. He frustrates the design of the nations. He defeats the plans of the people. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of man. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of all of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is a horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him and those who hope in his love to rescue their soul from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The loyal heart must praise the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, 
and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from him. As we have shared much in the suffering of Christ, so through Christ do we share abundantly in his consolation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Today, Paul reminds us that God the Father is the Father of mercies and the God of consolation. The consolation that we receive through our sufferings, through our difficult times, is the same consolation that we are able to pass on to those who are suffering around us. Today, we celebrate the feast day of Saints Isaac Jogues and John de Brebeuf two martyrs that spread the word of God in the 1600s in North America. It was men like this that planted the seeds for the church. The blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. I'm sure they received much consolation through their suffering. And I'm positive that they were able to spread that consolation to those around them. Just remember, when you suffer, it's never in vain. Because when you suffer, you share in the sufferings of Jesus Christ. And God will console you. Just reach out to him and he will be the one that consoles you during those difficult times. Be so merciful. But not that you should just keep it to yourself, but that you should also look to those around you who are suffering and be a consolation to them. The just are the friends of God. They live with him forever. The, the just, just are the friends of God. They live with him forever. God himself is their reward. They, they live, live with him forever. forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The, the just, just are the friends of God. God. They, they live, live with him forever. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. justice. The, the kingdom, kingdom of heaven is theirs. Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of His witnesses who shed their blood for the Word of God. Let us praise Him in remembrance of them. You, you redeemed, redeemed us by, by your blood. blood. Your martyrs freely embraced death in bearing witness for the faith. Give, Give us, us the, the true freedom of the Spirit, Spirit O Lord. Lord. Your martyrs profess their faith by shedding their blood. 
Give us a faith, O Lord, that is constant and pure. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. Your martyrs washed their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weaknesses of the flesh and worldly allurements. At this time, let's take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one, praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer our prayers as we say, You, you redeemed, redeemed us by your blood. blood. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom. And teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you consecrated the first beginnings of the faith in North America by the preaching and martyrdom of Saints John and Isaac and their companions. By the help of their prayers, may the Christian faith continue to grow throughout the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May, May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same channel. Have a great day.